Look for a low temp tonight down to about 72 degrees. So the AC is going to be needed tonight. No real relief from the heat at all. And the humidity, if anything, will be on the increase as that tropical air moves in. For tomorrow, model might be underdoing the showers and storms here, but it does show something that is kind of concerning. Uh, some sun peeking through. That could destabilize things enough for severe weather. In fact, parts of the area have now been upgraded to an enhanced risk of severe. That's Ionia uh, sections of eastern Barry into Eaton County and eastward. Uh, much of the Battle Creek area, Calhoun County is in this as well. The risk goes down as you head further west and towards the lakeshore, but it doesn't go away completely. Uh, winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Uh, the main threats and can rule out an isolated tornado or two for tomorrow uh, afternoon as well. We're looking at mainly from about uh, noon until 6 p.m. for that biggest severe weather threat tomorrow. Look for a high of 86. Uh, feels like temperatures still perhaps as high as the low 90s, and it will be windy as well. Uh, as we take a look at the Fox 17 seven day planner, uh, 86 with upwards of an inch of rain possible tomorrow as well. Uh, flooding probably not a widespread problem, but there could be a few local low lying areas with uh, some high water issues. And then for Thursday behind a cold front, we drop to 73 52 on Thursday night, uh, 71 on Friday, still an isolated shower Thursday and Friday possible, but it looks dry. And uh, on the cool side over the weekend with highs barely making it to 70. In fact, on Saturday, we might not even get that warm with lows in the 40s through the weekend and then a little bit of a warm up with still dry conditions early next week.